Hello friends, this is Bidhan. Welcome you to CSI Net Physics Solutions. Today we have a problem of June 2014, and this problem is based on classical mechanics and specifically based on Lagrangian and Hamiltonian dynamics. It says a particle of mass m coordinate q has the Lagrangian L is equal to half m q dot square minus lambda by 2 q into q dot square, where L is the symbol for Lagrangian. M is the mass, Q is the coordinate, Q dot is velocity and lambda is a constant. What is the Hamiltonian for the system? For this first of all we have to recognize whether this Lagrangian is one dimensional or two dimensional or three dimensional. Now I say that this Lagrangian is one dimensional. How come I know this? Because we may see Q but we don't see Q1, Q2 etc. And here we can see Q dot here also but we don't see any Q1 dot or Q2 dot or Q3 dot etc. So this signifies that this Lagrangian is one dimensional therefore the Hamiltonian that we are going to get is also one dimensional and we have the formula for the one dimensional Hamiltonian and we have that h is equals to p q dot minus L. This is the formula for Hamiltonian in one dimension. Now we are not going to put x dot in place of q dot but we are going to keep q dot as it is because the Lagrangian contains q dot and not x dot. It contains q dot and not x dot that is why. Minus L. L is half m q dot square minus lambda by 2 q into q dot square. So we have p q dot minus we will say m by 2 q dot square plus lambda by 2 q into q dot square. Doing further simplification we have p q dot minus from these two terms we find q dot square by 2 as common so m is from here minus its lambda into q from this term so we have it thus we have the Hamiltonian so we got it this is the answer but let me tell you sir this is not the answer and why is it so this is because of the reason that Hamiltonian is always a function of position and momentum that is Q and P and here it is obvious that this Hamiltonian is a function of Q dot also and which is strictly prohibited for being a standard Hamiltonian. That is why we have to find out the values of Q's and we, we got to substitute that at this point and at this point. So we have to find out the value of Q dot and that we can do by using a formula P H equals to P Q dot minus L and this P can be given by given as P equals to del L by del Q dot and this is equals to del by del Q dot and L is we know m by 2 Q dot square minus lambda by 2 into Q into Q dot square. Using distributive property we have del by del q dot of the first term 
minus del by del q dot of the second term therefore we have m by 2 is constant from first term so we are left with q dot square derivative of q dot square with respect to q dot minus here lambda into q by 2 is constant so we are left with derivative of q dot square by till derivative of q dot square with respect to q dot why we got out q as a constant this is because this derivative is with respect to q dot and here this q is not a function of q dot that is why it's a constant and got out so m by 2 doing the derivative we get 2 q dot minus lambda q by 2 into this derivative gives us 2 q dot and here this 2 and this 2 cut each other and they cut each other thus we have p is equals to m q dot minus lambda q into q dot getting q dot as common from both terms we have this q dot q dot has been taken as common so p by m minus lambda q is equals to q dot and this is what we were trying to get so we have got the value for q dot and you can see that q dot is the function of p and q so if we put this q dot then the whole hamiltonian will be the function of p q and there is already p and q so the whole hamiltonian is going to the function of p q that means q p and this is what we need so this was the solution but just we have to eliminate this q dot and have to put something that is a function of q and p so that is what we are doing so it's time to substitute this value of q dot at this point and this point so we have h is equals to p into q dot now q dot is p by m minus lambda q minus q dot square by 2 q dot square is p by m minus lambda q whole square now into there is half so it's 1 by 2 and also there is m minus lambda q this is it then we have multiplying p we get p square by m minus lambda q and minus this p square by m minus lambda q whole square into m minus lambda q and yeah there is a 2 in denominator also now this there are 2 m minus lambda q's so 1 and 1 m minus lambda q cut each other to give us p square by okay we go to the next board so we have here h is equals to p 
पी स्क्वायर बाय एम माइनस लैम्डा क्यू माइनस पी स्क्वायर बाय दिस टू इनटू एम माइनस लैम्डा क्यू सो दिस इज वन पी स्क्वायर बाय एम माइनस लैम्डा क्यू एंड दिस इज हाफ पी स्क्वायर बाय एम माइनस लैम्डा क्यू डूइंग द सब्ट्रैक्शन ऑफ दिस टू टर्म्स वी हैव पी स्क्वायर बाय टू इनटू एम माइनस लैम्डा क्यू एंड दिस मैच इज विद आवर आंसर टू सो टू इज द आंसर सो द आंसर इज टू थैंक यू